Hello there, my name is Vinny Voodoo, and if you're watching this video, you've tried to connect a Windows 10 laptop to your phone hotspot, only to have it dismally fail, and then you've looked all over the internet for a solution, and there's everything from reinstall drivers to deletion and the registry editors, and even reinstall Windows. Well, let me tell you, I have a solution for you right now that involves none of that. In fact, it's so easy, it'll take about 30 seconds. So I'm not going to waffle too much. Let me just say that this has worked for me every Every time I use my phone as my hotspot, every single other device I've got connects to my phone's hotspot except the laptop. So how do you fix it? Well, it's very simple and it involves using your phone and basically just your phone. Now, if you've got an Android phone, which is what I have, uh, there's uh, the hotspot feature and every phone's gonna have the settings in different places and also security. And you've probably set security up with a password. Now it's important you know that password, so write it down because you'll need it in a moment. What you do is you disable security. It's probably P WPA2 personal listed on it. You turn that off. Yes, it does mean that you now have an open Wi-Fi hotspot broadcasting to everyone, but don't worry, it won't be for long. And if someone jumps on, it's easy to blacklist them and kick them right off. So you then go to your laptop, having disabled your security on your phone, and go to your SSID list. In about 30 seconds, the SSID, which never appears on your laptop from your cell phone, should appear. Assuming it does, connect to it. Once connected, it will say connected and then open. And the open is telling you that you're connected to an open Wi-Fi. That's okay. What we're now gonna do is go back to the phone and actually re-enable security. So go back to your phone, go back to your hotspot. Don't turn the hotspot off and just enable security. Like I say, it'll probably be WPA2 personal and it'll ask you for the password. Type the password exactly as it was. It doesn't really matter if you don't. The only reason for that is, is all the other devices will now reconnect because the moment that you turned off security, other devices such as consoles and maybe your TV and a Chromecast or something like that would have disconnected. They will now automatically reconnect, so that won't have affected them. Now your laptop will probably ask for the password at this point, type it in. You should never have to type that password in on the laptop again, even if it doesn't see your hotspot in future. What I mean by that is that's it, it's done. Your laptop should now be connected to the internet and your phone is secure and your hotspot and your Wi-Fi is secure. However, it happens about once a month, once every two months, I'll turn my laptop on and again, it's forgotten that I actually have a hotspot on my phone, and that's okay. You'll have the little uh, Earth symbol down the bottom there, which indicates that you have no hotspot, so you have no Wi-Fi, and if you click on that, it won't see the SSID of your phone. Go through the process again, except this time it will be easier. Uh, you turn off the security of your phone's hotspot, you wait until it, the SSID appears on your laptop's SSID list, click on it, and then turn the security back on on your phone, type in the password, and everything should remember it, including your laptop. You shouldn't have to type the password again on your laptop. But even if you do, it's a small price to pay for having to reinstall everything. I, I discovered this completely by accident, and it works every time. It's not a permanent fix, I guess you could say, because, of course, um, you do have to do it once in a while. I do it about three times a year, so it's it's not a hardship, and it's a heck of a lot easier than trying to deal with all the stupid advice that's on the internet about reinstalling drivers and so on and so forth. In a nutshell, turn off security, connect to your system, turn on security, type the password back in. It's that simple. But does it work for you? Let me know in the comments and uh, we will uh, take it from there. In the meantime, it leaves me to say that my name is Vinny Voodoo and thanks for watching.